Hello, it's Nina again from Stitching with a Smile. Welcome back to our next segment in our Hardanger Stitch Along. We finished the cable stitches on the interior in the last lesson. Now we're going to do the cable stitches around the edge. One corner is going to be slightly different because you're moving from straight to curved than we did in this portion, but I'll show it to you and walk you through it. So once again, you'll see that we will do the entire surround with these cable stitches, and they are between the cloister blocks and the buttonhole. We're going to place our fabric so that we have the straight edge of the buttonhole on top and we're going to use this cloister block to start our counting up. And the only reason we're going to be starting at the top, we could count from this side, but it is a bit more difficult to see. This one is much easier to see and to count from. You'll be anchoring your stitches within the um, in here so that we can start just up here. There's the cloister block that we're going to use to uh, count off our stitches. I'm going to start at the very left of that cloister block and count again. I, I should say that each line on this graph paper is a fabric thread. So we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 fabric threads up from this left hand stitch in our cloister block. And you'll come up at this number 1. So you'll come up, go over 2 threads, down at 2, then you're going to come up at 3, down at 4, come up at 5. Now if you see 5 and 2 are sharing the same hole, down at 6, come up at 7 which shares the same hole as this number 4, down at 8, up at 9, down at 10, up at 11, down at 12, and here we're just going to keep following the same pattern, up at 13, down at 14, and now we're on the curve, or on the angled portion, up at 15, down at 16, up at 17, down at 18, up at 19, down at 20, etc. So you'll see it's over two fabric threads, with two, two fabric threads in between, and this angle is just like it was before, it's angled over two fabric threads, or if you count over, one, two, one, two. And same with this. I'll put a picture in so that you can see this up close and stop your screen if you need to. So I'm using this cluster block to work out where my stitch starts, but I've anchored my thread behind the buttonhole at the top. I'm going to count up eight fabric threads. So if I start here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. It's hard to see, but that's number, let me, there we go. And in truth, it's down four from the buttonhole. It's just easier to count from here rather than try to figure out your stitches up there. So we're going to go over two, down two, and come up. Again, over two, and come up in the same hole that we started with, that we went down. Over 
for two. We start our corner, if you look at the same cluster block again at the very right hand thread, follow it up, and two over from there. That's where we start the corner. I hope you can see that. So we go over two down two and over two down two Okay, I'm going to work my way down to the next corner and uh, meet you back up there. So I'm coming down at an angle. I've almost reached where I turned the corner again. And what I've done is I've marked in a piece of thread where the turn happens, where the actual corner happens. And if you'll notice, on this cluster block, it's two threads away from the left edge of this cluster block. So in a sense it's in the middle of the next cluster block down. So it's not right on this cluster block. It's actually two threads away from the cluster block. And the same thing up here. The corner happened two threads away from that cluster block again. That's where the corner happened. Now you could mark this with a piece of thread if you want it. Um, you don't have to. You'll be able to see it when, uh, when you're stitching. But I did this so you could see exactly where that corner happened. Okay, so this corner will be somewhat similar to what we did previously when we uh, did the interior cable stitches. You'll come up go down and then do a backwards up and down right at this corner and then you start on your usual path again. So as you're coming up you'll come up at one, down at two, up at three, down at four, up at five, down at six, up at seven, down at eight, up at 9, down at 10. You've hit the corner up here. Come up at 11, down at 12. Then come up at 13, down at 14. Up at 15, down at 16. Up at 17, down at 18, etc. And you're back on the exact same path that you were up here. So we'll do that together and I will make, I will take a picture of this and uh, post it so you can see, stop your, your uh, video and uh, look at it. Okay, so once again I hope I'm in camera. I have to, I can't do it while I'm looking in the camera so I have to do it down here. So I'm going to Continue with my angled stitching. So I've hit the corner for the bottom one and now this is the corner for the top one. What I will do now is I'll be going straight. 
So I'm going to put my th thread, my needle right into the corner. And come up two after. And then go back down in the corner. So that's the corner that I did. And now I'm on the straight portion. And we follow along exactly how we did it before. And when you come up to the next corner, you'll follow exactly how we did it from the beginning. When we do the second portion, I'll come back and show you. It will be exactly the same. So the second portion, so once we've gone around one time, then we're going to do the second portion, which is this row and one row below it. So this middle row has a double line of stitching. I'll come back and show it to you. Okay, I'm on my second set of stitches now. And again, follow exactly the same pattern that you did before for the first set of stitches. When you're coming along the straight to the angled set of stitches you don't need to do a backward stitch here this is the only time you don't need to do that so you can come up go down come up go down come back up here and down and then you're on the angled set of stitches when you're coming from the angled set of stitches to the straight, that's when you have to do that double back. So on the angled, you'll come up, sorry, you're going to come up down here, down, up, down, and then up here and down, which is an, a, a different stitch that you normally do, and then you're on again the same pattern as before. I'll do a little bit with you again here. So this is the second set of stitches. And I'm going from the straight to the angled portion at the corner. And in this case, I don't need to do that double back that we've done every other time. This is the only time you don't need to do it. And there's the final portion of the straight, and now I'm into the angled portion. And there you go. So do the entire surround in a double cable stitch. And our next lesson will be cutting. So that'll be a lot of fun. Thanks so much once again for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.